Great Lakes is not only full of fish, but it's full of beautiful scenery. Vast amount of forest and open water. Sometimes you won't even see a boat for days. The abundance of life up here this time of year is insane because they don't have very long to get it done. We are officially Youpers, baby. We're going up to the Youper Peninsula. This is two Texans heading up to fish the Great Lakes and experience a totally different fishery than what we're used to. You're gonna wanna stay tuned. I got it. Came and grilled it. Gotta respect the heart of a smallmouth. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's gonna be a great day. I'm glad you're here. If you missed the last episode in this series, we were basically catching as many smallmouths as I've ever caught in, in one day. We caught over, well, we caught exactly 100 fish. So awesome, awesome time, but we've got some more objectives, some more challenges for you today. And we're gonna be going after some smallmouth with fly rods today. Actually having a competition uh, and also another big goal, another big check mark. And we're gonna try to get Matt's PB done. So that's a big, big goal of the trip. And uh, the conditions right now, we've got some sun possibly that's gonna come out. It rained yesterday afternoon. It got really nasty. We had to get off the water. Now, if this sun comes out, Jeremy's saying that the fish are gonna be moving in like three times more than what we saw yesterday. It could get insane. So let's go. PB day? It's PB day. And we got a surprise for you. Okay. Okay. We got a surprise for Matt. It's Matt's birthday, so we got to break his PB. And um, I'm a big, I'm a big cutlery man. Okay, big <laughs> cutlery man. I think you need some cutlery in your life. So we got a little surprise for you. We're gonna okay. roll up to a nice country store over here and get you some good cutlery. When is your birthday? Friday. Friday. Yeah. yeah. We already got drunk. It's, it's birthday week. It's birthday, birthday week. week. Yeah. We're celebrating the whole week. Of I have a whole week to catch a PB on my birthday. Oh, you're catching it today. Okay. Are you shotgunning a beer, no yeah. matter what time it is? No matter what time it is. If this is the Speaking first fish I catch out there today, I'll, I'll throw a lobe in. Oh, Matt. This is your day. Custom crafted knives, huh? I think you should wear this knife you're about to get on your belt. And they make them right here. Dude, we get to watch so them make cool. them? Oh, I don't know. Their, their showroom is like on this end. So cool. Those are gorgeous. Holy cow. So this is for like your grunt work, your bone, going through the bones and whatnot, and then the bottom part is actually mm. flame. I've never meat. seen that. Wow, that'd be perfect going up the belly. This place is awesome. Rapid River Knife Works. That's where we're at. They've got all these custom knives. I'm talking well-balanced beauties. So I'm thinking we need to get you something you can like use. Not just something that's gonna be on the shelf, you know? Yeah. So, we should try to find something mid-size that you can use in your everyday life. Yeah. I mean, you are the knife king. Like, there's one thing that gets you dude, going, it's knives. Dude, I love them. Some people don't know that about my, my life, but I have a collection, and I do like them. You like to sharpen them. I love sharpening knives. There's an art to it. It's very relaxing. Feel that in your hand. How do you feel about that? I feel like I can get some things done here. <laughs> you know? I'm, lo I'm looking for that perfectly balanced, simple knife that's good for skinning. It's good for shaving. You wake up in the morning, shave your face. You've you know done this? Oh, yeah, you can do it at deer camp if you have a sharp enough knife. This is high quality steel. What All these knives are high quality How steel. How do you tell? How do you tell a good steel? A good steel is really hard to sharpen. Um, that's all I really know. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing at you, the expert on that. What do you think? Should we engrave it? I think it'll be something cool. Okay. Like, what do you think? I like the MK Ultra. MK Ultra. I like that. Yeah. MK Ultra. MK. Yeah, yeah like the globe Ultra. Do you want like just MK in the space and then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're getting MK Ultra put on the knife? Yeah. Yes. Engraved. <laughs> 
Why does it not surprise me? <laughs> Chris, will you explain what is going on here to our folks at home? Because yeah, so this, this is uh, over a 100,000 year old, um, essentially fossilized woolly mammoth tusk. It's solid ivory. It's approximately 260 pounds. From the root to the tip. And it's not, it's... And it's to get blue-green. To get the blue-green ivory natural color, it takes 100,000 years buried in the perfect environment um, to color like that. That is amazing. Um, this tusk will I not... I bet you don't have one of these at home. Yeah, I want to see the shoes. It's cool. What'd you get put on oh, yours? Dude, the font is awesome. MK Ultra. That <laughs> looks sick. Isn't that cool? That's the first one she's ever done. With that <laughs> font? Yeah. Oh, that's the first time first she's I've ever done Really? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, I've done like 20,000. Okay. I was going to say. <laughs> I was say. Good first go. Yeah. Matt. Oh, hey. Thank you for the birthday gift. I appreciate you. Congratulations. Yeah. What a great friend. Buys you a knife. knife. Everybody needs a good knife in their life. Everybody's so got to have a good cutting stuff with. <laughs> yeah. Just don't give that to John or Alex Perrick. We'll be fine. Okay? We'll all be Hide fine. that from the kids. Right in there, and then all of our warranty stuff, my cards in there, websites on the side. Awesome. Thank you so much. Awesome. Look at there. Brand new knife. Catching yeah. smallmouth. Yeah, like, we're about to go do that. And saw a woolly mammoth. And saw a woolly mammoth does. This is real life up here. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. LFG. Centered up. We'll sheath it up. Let's go fly something with this thing. So, we got some boats loaded in our, our juice hole from yesterday. I think they were taking notes. We had some scouts come quite close to us. And they're like, how are these boys catching these fish. The bait rod pattern is strong. Yeah. We were the only people catching fish, too. They were not catching fish. That's 100%. We got the juice. The juice is here. In our hearts and soul. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's, 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 actually, it's actually, the juice is driving the boat right now. They like flared up, flared up. Oh, out. he's gonna bite it. Yeah. It's, it's getting tighter on it now. Please tell thought. me y'all can see all these beds. Yeah. Can you see them everywhere? I see them, man. Like, there's a bed right there. Bed 10 feet past it. Oh, you bit it. You got it. Got oh, it. yeah. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, baby. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, 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 it's a big one. Get the low, buddy. <laughs> you hear me? Take her easy. Take her easy. Oh, oh my yeah. God. <laughs> Did you see the size of this thing? Matt's got his PB almost landed right now. Spotted this four pounder. Oh, no, no, break. This is one of the biggest ones of the trip. He's still wanting to fight. God. He's still got some fight in him. Come on, baby. <laughs> Grab that Stop. thing. Stop. Grab that thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> four pounder for sure. Yes, dude. <laughs> That's one of the biggest ones of the trip, He's dude. missing an eye. He's missing an eye. Oh, oh man. Dude, that is awesome. That is cool. So That's cool. You watch Matt, that fish get madder and madder and madder and work. Matt out. now has first fish of the day and, and biggest. biggest. Yes. And we have no money on the line today. Hey, man, that's a dude, big fish, thanks, dude. guys. That is my boy. What do you think? Take a guess. It's a little skinny, but I'm going to say. It's a little skinny. I think some of the fish we caught yesterday might have been a little bigger. I'm going to say four and a quarter. 4'11". Four 4'11", eleven. <laughs> four eleven, baby. 4'11". All right, let's break it again. <laughs> Dude, congratulations. Thank you. Let's get a solid pick of yeah, this guy. Yeah, What'd you catch on? 4 11. I caught on the dragon drop. Dragon drop? Yeah. Nice. Of course. Why? What else would you fish? Dude, that's awesome. your bait. Bro. Thank you. Got him. That's right. my man. There it goes. Back to the bed. My man. My man. Come on up in here. Here, here's a Michelob. <laughs> that is a monster. You got a shotgun this though, right? Yeah, we got yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Let's shot. You said you were gonna shotgun. Why this. would you not use fishing pliers <laughs> to do this? Okay. Let's... 
the superior light beer. Uh, well, bottoms up. Yes. <laughs> 411. That's awesome, dude. 411. Look at the pro. Look at the pro. Is it gone? No, we need to get, we need to get some key. Oh, there you go. There's, there it is. You know, you, what's impressive is that you spotted that and immediately said that's a four pounder. Yeah. Immediately. You said, dude, it's a four pounder. Well, <sighs> I, knew. I knew it was meant you to be. You just knew. I knew. Monster goal accomplished right there. Here everywhere. Off the bucket list here. So we got 100 fish in a day. We've got Matt's PB broken now. Yeah. What's next? What's, What's next? next? I we, think we need we to get got creative. Well, as uh, Jeremy's bringing another code in on the drag and drop, we're gonna switch switch methods here. I don't I don't know much about fly fishing. Um, I've done it a little bit just for fun, but casting and, and working the bait is definitely a challenge for me. And I think it'd be awesome to get my personal best on a fly rod. So yeah, so we only have two fly rods, so it's only gonna be two people. It's Matt and you competing. You you have a lot of experience with fly. You would just you would whip us. I feel like Matt would be definitely more entertaining. You guys are gonna enjoy Matt watching watching Matt cast. I think. <laughs> Do not take your glasses off. Here yeah. This experience. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something. First time flying. First time flying. Question is, where's the rest of my rod? That's it. That's your tip. Well, what about the ass end? You got an ass end. Where? What are you talking about? I feel like something goes on the bottom. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Jeremy's got a hog on. What the world? Jeremy. <laughs> Tell me something doesn't go on here? Like, what, what's this for? Okay, our, uh, our residential expert on fly fishing is behind the camera right now, Backwater Bryant. And so he's given us some inside knowledge here. I don't know, I don't know much about these classroom minnows, but I know that we're probably gonna have to let it sink into these bedding areas enough to where they're gonna slap it. I don't know if they're gonna come up to the top. We got problems. Backwater. Oh, you're gonna get hit, dude. You, you ready to get get a fly in the back of your hat? <laughs> There's a bed right there. Where? Right there. Well, I can't hit it. Now this is just a straight dangle right here. This is you know, the shortest fly casting. You gotta let this thing sink in there, though. Look at this. Oh, I got baby. the hang of this. Come on, baby. What is this? Come on, baby. Eat that thing. Dude, if he ain't got it, he's all over it. He, he had it. He had it. <laughs> Why is this so exciting? Matt is, Matt is in there. I think this fish is just confused. I'm feeling pretty Perfect. confident. You get all this line everywhere with this fly fishing business, it's just, it's just a mess. Perfect. Barely. He's got it, he's got it. Nope. Oh, I got him! I got him! Oh my gosh! This is hard. It's hard to do this. came out of bed. Setting the hook and... I mean, this is way different. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you guys were all worried about me throwing that thing. Jeez. Matt looks like he's getting the hang of it back there. That's got me a little worried. I was thinking it was going to be... Oh, shoot, that's Jeremy casting. Was... Right. Oh, no, no, it's fine. It, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It, it, it was, me. was, it was, me. was him. Say, that's pro-level casting. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just picked up a fly rod, and he's zooming it out there 40 yards. I got too much line out here. How... Yeah. Can you just do this? I've got way too much of this. I just don't understand, like, what, there's got to be a better solution than, like, just this line all over the ground. I step on it, I can't get it out there fast enough. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're talking strategies. No, I want, find the beds. I know there's beds right over here. Where like, are they at? They're over there. No. They're disoriented. Oh, God, I hit myself in the back of the head. What that doing? hurt, man. It's like a bee sting in me. I gotta move. I gotta get somewhere safe. I don't feel, I don't feel safe in this boat. <laughs> There's stuff flying around my head. You'd rather run in 20 foot waves than deal with this right All now? day. You're 100% certain there's a fish in here. I mean, I, I, I don't doubt it. Oh, we got it! We got, got it! 
Got him. Big one. Came and grilled it. Now I gotta figure out how to get this thing in. It's a good one. Oh, he's running. He's running. Come on, baby. What do I do? <laughs> what was it you asked me again? Should I reel? Was there a fish in there? I have no doubt. Ah! Oh, he's in the reeds. Come on. Mm. Come on, break him off. Break him uh, off. Get him off. I don't even know how much line is. You have to land your own fish, your own fish here. Ah. Come here. Gah. Dude, this is a wrist workout. Dude, that's a good smallmouth. Ah. Come on. Dude, they don't quit. Where do you stick this thing? You stick it in your belly button? <laughs> In the belly button. Come on, Sally. Woo. Woo. It's going under. It's going under. <laughs> Get me. Get me. Get me. Get him. Come on. Yeah, that's one. That's one. Got one. Run. Yes. Oh my gosh, that is so hard, dude. He came out out of the bed and attacked it though. Gosh, that is my biggest smallmouth bass on a fly, 100%. PB on a fly right here. And that's number one. You got some catching up to do, bud. I, I, I feel accomplished now. I've, can we get this in a fly fishing magazine? Is that good enough? That's as big as my arm. Look at that thing. So cool. That's my biggest smallmouth on a fly ever. That's a solid, that's probably three and a half. Three and a half, three high threes. <sighs> Thank you for the awesome catch. We gotta get another. Oh, bam. Okay. Where am I in the right spot here? Good? Oh, okay, got it. Got one! Got one! Oh, I got him! <laughs> no, he does not. He does. Oh, oh. son! Oh, it, it burns! <laughs> it burns your fingers sometimes! <laughs> Dude, that's a four pounder. Oh my god. That's his personal best, and it's gonna be on a fly rod. Oh. That's your personal best. You think so? Uh, absolutely. How am I supposed to get this in? It burns your hands. <laughs> does it not? Yeah. There's a little tangle on it. <laughs> No, your personal best was 411. I forgot we had a 411. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Matt, you're about to land your first fish on a fly ever? Is that correct? First, yeah. I, this has never happened before. <laughs> Trying to really all the way to the end. <laughs> How's that rod feel? He's under the boat. So I can't get my He's right Oh, my here. gosh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How <laughs> did it come out? That's hard. It, it just came out. Wow, little footballs on fly rods. This might be it right here. Got him. That's a big one. Y'all, we've got the ju we've just found the absolute hammers, and the conditions are cut like slicking off. Dream scenario for Great Lakes. Did not think we were gonna get this calm. So these fish are piling in here like daggum Vienna sausages. Okay. How big is yours? No, it's a good one. It's like it's close to a four. How big is that one you got? I mean, it's, it's like a four. Ah, gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, dude, look in his mouth. He has a whole, whole fish in his mouth. He has a whole fish. Look at this. This, look, at, it's huge. What kind of fish is in there? Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. It's, like a, it's a big perch. Big perch, man. If we have perch in the area, I would love for us to get some of those well, fresh and do, mean, do a cook. Not a bad double. Not a bad double right there, man. Beautiful fish. Dude, this is so awesome. So awesome. So we got a little something different here with these calm conditions. We might be able to run around a little bit and find something. See you guys. And the thing that was in its mouth, a perch, 
There's one more thing we got to do out here on, on the bucket list. I want to try, I've never caught a perch and I want to try to, to catch a perch or a walleye and we got to just eat the greatest fish up here. I mean, they're absolutely outstanding and I think we're going to have the conditions to do it. So y'all stay tuned. Make sure to go ahead and smash the like button for Matt catching his PB and just catching hog jammers out here. God bless you. I'll see you on the next one.